colder weather can attract crooks, hoping to swindle some unsuspecting homeowners, especially preying on those emotions. But let's start with the basics here. Here are three simple things you need to do right after a storm rolls through your area. Number one is you just need to assess the damage and then document it. Take pictures, do things like that. Number two, do what you need to do to make sure no more damage happens. So if it's raining, that's putting up a tarp on a damaged roof or siding, anything like that. And three is you're going to want to call your insurance agent to report that claim and they'll walk you through the next steps. But here's some common mistakes people make with home insurance. And here are three big ones. Now for older roofs, if you have a roof that's 15 to 20 years old, you may not have a roof replacement coverage on it. And a lot of people have something called cash value. And unfortunately, that doesn't usually cover the full cost of a new roof. So if that's you, and maybe you didn't have any damage this time, maybe something you want to adjust on your insurance. Now two, you don't have your home insured for the proper amount, and that leads to number three. It's probably because you didn't check in with your agent every year. For example, if you put a new addition and now it's damaged by the storm, your insurance probably won't cover it unless you've updated your policy. So you wanna keep that in mind. Now for these scams. It's not uncommon to see contractors swarm into areas after a storm. It's not illegal by any means, but don't fall victim if they're gonna prey on your emotions. So here's four things you should know if someone comes knocking on your door. And I know we've said this before here on Local 12, but we're just gonna re-go over this. Now, one, make sure they're a reputable company. So you're gonna have to do your research here. Two, don't sign anything on the spot, even if they try to pressure you. If Even if they say we can't do the work until you sign this, do not sign it until you have time to look it over. Three, make sure you ask for their insurance. They need their own insurance to be doing work on your home. And four, inspect it thoroughly, and then make sure they're licensed. I live in Goshen. So after we had the tornado a couple of years ago, I had no less than five roofers come to my house and tell me that I needed a new roof. I just had my roof inspected like right after it. So I knew I didn't need one. There are a lot of transients that come around after a, a natural disaster and really scam people. And it, it annoys me to no end. Now this may seem like common sense, but when you're dealing with emotions, you're not always thinking straight. So it's easiest to just try to find someone to do the work that maybe has already had this work done. Someone you trust, a neighbor, that's gonna be your best point of reference. And your insurance agent can also help guide you as well through this minefield of contractors. Now, if your car got damaged by hail during all of this or anything else storm related, you need to make sure you have comprehensive insurance. If you don't have comprehensive insurance on your car, none of that storm damage will be covered. I'm consumer reporter Cassie Arsenal. Local 12 has more consumer stories just like this. Don't forget to click the links and press subscribe.